Hey everyone, so this next part is to add windows and doors and so forth, okay? So in order to do that, you will just carry on using the same tools, set square and the ruler, okay? The ruler is the way to help anchoring things down and drawing in the lines that you need. The set square is to make sure every line that you draw is going to be parallel to each other. So we know that this line is going to be parallel, so we need to draw a window in. So I'm going to draw some marks very lightly and marks where I want the height of the door is going to be. And then I'm on the top part of that window as well. Okay. Um, I want to have like a gap uh, between the window and the end of that wall about uh, one centimeter like this. And what you then do, I make that mark, which was one centimeter, and you line it up against the uh, horizontal line. And with that mark that you made, you then draw your first vertical line. And I want the window to be about one centimeter wide. So in that case, you line it up against that line, make a mark so you know where you want your window to start and end, and then use your set square again to draw that vertical line. And then you've got your first shape of the window, like so. And then you can just press hard to go over the outline like this, okay? And with the door, I want it to be quite centered. You can measure it out to see where the centered line is going to be. So it's about seven centimeters, okay? So I'm going to put this around here. Okay, and then with that, you then draw out the marks that you've made. You lean it against the horizontal line and you just draw it out like this using the horizontal line to draw a vertical line. And then you just go over with your ruler to press down hard of lines that you want to keep and it is accurate once it's done. And then you've got your shape of your door like this. And then you do the same on the other side how you have done it. So a one centimeter gap. So you want a one centimeter gap and you want a window that one centimeter. So measure it out like so. Okay. On the other side is the same story, really. It's just like a mirrored way. So a bit of symmetry in terms of the process. So I'm just going to show you how I might uh, achieve that. So again, just moving your ruler, your set square along that ruler that's placed in the middle and you can draw a faint line out of where you want your windows to be. Um, so that's the bottom and then you, you can draw a faint line out of where you want the top window to end and again draw it lightly because they are construction lines and again if you want that same kind of gap from the window and the door then you just measure it out from that vertical line and make a mark and then using your set square, leaning against your horizontal line in order to draw a vertical line, okay? And then you measure it again. So we know we want it to be one centimeter wide. So we do a one centimeter wide window, measure it up from that point, and then just make a mark. And using your pencil and lean it against the horizontal line. And complete that drawing okay and then if you're happy with the shape and the position and size you would then go over the window outline and just press hard you never really need to use a rubber once you press hard to show those outlines of those uh, features they tend to stand out in the end and all these construction lines wouldn't really uh, be confusing afterwards and that's it really. So you just carry on following those particular steps that I've shown you. And eventually you might have something that looks like this with two windows if you like. You can even design your own window if you want. But this is just something to get the basics in there. And then you can make little dash marks to show the lines in there and some details. And that's it guys.